The big thing for us at the beginning of every year uh, for all the tech nerds and our team is the Consumer Electronics Show happening in Las Vegas. And uh, we're flying out tomorrow Yes, for that. Uh, so we'll be there all week. Literally 175,000 uh, geeks converge on Las Vegas to check out millions of square feet of the latest technology. It literally takes over all of Las Vegas. I love the fact that like, you know, nerds now, like the definition of nerd is pretty wide, you know, like it used to be pretty narrow, but now yeah. it's a little wider. Yeah. I like uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it, it's interesting. I, you know, I, I always look forward to, you know, what's going to be coming up there. Uh, I know obviously it's going to be a lot more smart home stuff. Of course, TVs are always a big story, but are they a big story anymore? Do you think? No, because it's they been try a, to make it a big story. It's been a race to the bottom, right? Yeah. L look what we just went through with Black Friday and Boxing Day deals, right? Yeah. Um, Get like a fifty-inch TV for two hundred and fifty bucks. I got a fifty-five for two fifty. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Is it any good? It's a fantastic. It's a Samsung. Yeah. It was it's a, a Samsung. It's a crazy awesome deal. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get it off the back of a truck? No. 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 No, that's crazy. But, you know, see, it's an interesting time because it's for our team. It's just go, go, go. Uh, you know, we've got a few folks going down there. We've got our camera guys. Uh, and we're just trying to capture as much content uh, for, obviously, our website, the radio show, uh, and the TV show uh, as well. Uh, but, you know, it, it literally goes from morning well into the evening because even after <laughs> the show closes then there's like mini shows that happen afterwards uh there's things called like showstoppers and the digital experience these are mini shows that are set up in these large ballrooms in the hotel it's like speed dating it's like speed dating for tech they're yeah. just like everyone's got the same size small table and i actually enjoy those the most to be honest I, it's much more intimate and yeah. it's not quite as crazy as the main show floor which you know you're pounding the pavement, walking across the LVCC, the Las Vegas Convention Center, which can take you hours to walk across the entire, one entire hall. I like it because it levels the playing field, yeah. you know? So it's like, you know, like to your point, like some of these booths are like yeah. ginormous. Yeah. Yeah. But at these little ones, everyone's got the same size table. Same size. How, like a 10 foot table. Yeah. 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 10, little 10 by 10s. Yeah. And so you'll have Dell. Hewlett Packard, and then, you know, Woof Woof, a startup uh, doing some sort of pet tech. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? And yeah. they're all in the same playing field. Uh, but it's it's interesting how these things work for, you know, the press and media. These are put on by third-party companies, and they uh, basically wine and dine you. Like, they set up a full smorgasbord for all the, the media folks there and open bar. Which is dangerous. It is kind of dangerous, yeah, because it gets <laughs> everyone all liquored up. It goes for several hours. And by the end, yeah, a lot of the, the journalists are, I love your tech, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that's the point, though, isn't it? Yeah, that? for sure. <laughs> and then after that are the parties. Yes. Like the big parties. You know, let's it's talk Vegas. About, there are no small parties in Vegas. They're like, all big. Like Samsung. They, what are they? They're taking everyone to the hockey game yeah. this year. Uh, before, uh, I remember one year in the Hard Rock Cafe uh, Hotel, up in one of the penthouse suites, they invited, uh, you know, the Canadian media anyway, just the Canadian media. And they had Sam Roberts playing. Oh, yeah. I remember it's that. It's like this penthouse suite. And you've got that. all these nerdy tech journalists like us. There's a bowling lane in the penthouse. There was a bowling lane. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. And so Sam, I love Sam Roberts. And yeah. so he's there yeah. playing. So he plays Two a few feet songs. from you. Yeah. 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 And then he's finished and he goes sits at the bar in this little penthouse suite. And I'm sitting there and, and I'm just, I'm talking to Sam Roberts. Yep. I'm like, hey, you want a bowl? Okay. <laughs> it was it was really freaking weird. <laughs> my my Samsung tends to do it really well yeah. in Vegas. My favorite uh party experience was actually a Samsung party a couple of years ago where the Cosmo Hotel, they have an outdoor pool. Yes. In January, you don't want to be in that pool because no. it's not heated. No. So what Samsung did in their infinite wisdom, they actually put an ice rink over top of it. And you in could Vegas. In, in Vegas. In January. In okay. January. And you could play hockey on this surface it's a full size skating rink and they even brought in some nhlers to come play with you it's, they, am, it's amazing the amount of money they spend on this yeah and did you play i do not skate <laughs> <laughs> well one year uh at the palm hotel uh in one of the big huge suites they had up uh they had a basketball i don't know how they get basketball up there court or <laughs> half court and they had like a, one of the toronto raptors so you could be drinking your face off yep and then shooting a basketball with one of the Raptors. That didn't end well either. 
I did have a few beers with Dave Babbage though when we were skating when they were playing the hockey games. Oh really? Yeah. It was pretty See, fun. That's, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I remember years ago, uh into it, you know, the Quicken guys, uh, their party, you, it was at Caesars and it was like a surprise thing. And you go there and they had a in that ballroom, it was a full basketball court and it was the Harlem Globe Globetrotters. Wow. And you you could go play with them. You could go play basketball with them, which is crazy. Another year, I think it was HP, uh, you get to their suite and Rod Stewart. So I'm like drinking Coors Light <laughs> two feet away from Rod Stewart just singing away. But it's the crazy the amount of money they spend. Well, it, Vegas is the perfect place for CES because it is the place of success and they spend a ton of money. And that's also when it's the most expensive time to go to Vegas. So if you're planning a trip to Vegas, do not go at the beginning of January unless you're into tech. Yeah. And we should point out that CES is not open to the public. No. So you can't. You could kind of fandangle your way in. There's, I yeah. think you can buy your way in for a hundred bucks. You might be able to now, yeah. but yeah. What was your favorite party? Uh, were, well, you, were you there for the Star Wars party? That, that's that what I was about to say. That was that was. I mean, especially since there's such a Star Wars cra- craze on right now with the yeah. with the finale. But yeah, we that Star Wars party threw was up that a, that was at Dre's Beach Club beside the Flamingo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think up on the tenth floor they've got like a giant pool area. Yeah, like like they had basically put the X wing in the pool. Half, an X wing fighter submerged. Yeah, like a, an X wing fighter yeah. into the pool. And so I got a picture of me out there using the force to try to raise it out of the pool. <laughs> how mu- okay, how much money did that cost to get oh. an X wing fighter into a pool? That must have cost several million dollars. Absolutely, yeah. And so, but it was just such an awesome party. Like they had so many other things as well as you could go and get your picture taken with a lightsaber and with all your friends. And I mean, open bar. Obviously, this is how they treat the the press at these events, and it was like phenomenal. Phenomenal. And somehow between all of that, we managed to get footage for the TV show. But it's funny because by the end of it, you're just dead. You're just wiped out because you've walked like literally 30 miles a day. And then you're into the evening, like probably till I make poor life decisions. So I'm, I'm out till two or three in the morning. I don't know about you. And your liver hates you. It does. Yeah. But you're out there too. And yeah. AJ. Yeah. We, you know what's so funny? AJ and I share, typically share a room. Yeah. Uh, and we never see each other. Yeah. We never see each other. Nope. I, don't know, I don't know where <laughs> you go. Even here? You don't the know where I go. The bed's always made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a little crazy. 